Hey, hey. How's things, buddy? Ah, good, man. Good. How's things with you? Yeah, good, man. You all healed up and everything after your palaver with the carjacking? Yeah, I, I, I'm all good now, mate. Two seconds. I'm just going to sit you down here. I'm just going to make up a shake, you know, and have that shake while I'm talking. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you crack on, yeah. Just because I've just finished training, you know what I mean? We, we plug. We plug the yeah. NPCs, bud. Losing the belly and all, stuff. Uh, keeping it all intact, is it? That's it, mate. Uh, I've I've literally just started using stuff like this, so I've... Uh, where the fuck's my shaker? Fuck knows. You, you, you've only started training properly, have you? Like, um, looking after yourself in the right way and everything, like... Yeah, mate, yeah. I've, obviously, I'm notorious for it, just in a fat cunt and, and fighting, do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm starting <laughs> to get myself in shape now, so... Uh, so good, man. Feel good. Do you, do you feel like um, when you're in the gym now? Do you feel like you're a different fighter now? Now you started looking after yourself. Oh, damn it! Just uh, grab my shaker. Uh, I, I've, I have to look after myself, mate. Um, not really got long in the sport. No, nobody has. I mean, I'm young, obviously, but but I can only take so much punishment. I see the community fights well out of shape. Yeah. Um, and just get hitting default bro button instead of instead of coming on fat and the way I should be. Yeah, you you've obviously signed with Matchroom now too, haven't you? No, <laughs> no, no, no. That was a fake poster, that mate. All oh, right, all oh, right. I thought oh, I was <laughs> chuffed. I was chuffed for you as well. No, uh, no, no. Is that? Um, was it? Are you still training with Dave Allen? Uh, no, no, I'm not training with Dave. Dave's on his own path just now, you know what I mean? He's going to be away training with Jamie Moore and stuff, so... Yeah. Um, I saw him back up in Glasgow. I'm training myself. I'm I'm my best trainer, to be honest, mate. Thanks yeah. I'm training on four and all four knockouts, so... We'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens in the next one. Yeah, because, um, like, you've got five, rec five losses on your record already, but I don't think that really determines the fight that you are, does it? No, nah, I mean, I've I've beat myself five times. You know what I mean? I don't think I've yeah. I've never beat anybody that's better than me. Who's um? This is the worst time I could have possibly fucking answered that phone. Like <laughs> I'm just trying to get my phone. Down. Yeah, so, you're trying to get mad. At the right time after the trip. You know what I mean, mate? Yeah. What flavour is it? Banana, mate. Banana split. It's fucking dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's good, man. Softy, that's us, mate. What do you mix it with? Milk or water? ABC nutrition. I've been pestering them all week, mate. I decided I was going to try it, and I've been pestering them all week. Um, yeah. I think that's how it's going to start working together now. So. What training have you been able to do? Are you still stitched up and everything, are you? Or, or no, all out? taken out, mate. All my stitches get taken out. Um, my hand's fine. I'm back punching again. Uh, I've yeah. got, obviously got a big scar in there and one of my palm in that, but on my leg as well. Leg's healed up. Oh, yeah. So, uh, do you think you were actually good. targeted for that, or, or was it random? I think we are just after the car, mate. It was an ex um, that happened to my passenger, but what can you do, mate? Just the, the yeah. way the cookie isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy how, um, and it happened on the 13th, I heard. Happened on the 13th, mate. I get my stitches out 13 days later. All 13 of my stitches. Yeah. It's crazy how that keeps <laughs> cropping up in your life, isn't it? No, Ultimate Boxer was on the 13th. It's just, I'm just fucking mad. I was born. Uh, 30 minutes past one. 13, 13. Mental. Yeah. But freaky. That's proper freaky. But, uh, first of March, one three as well. Three, nine, eight. Yeah. <laughs> what's, um, what's next? Are you, Dorian Darts could be next, you know? Uh, I'd, I'd, not, I'd like to have a fight with Dorian Darts. Uh, a cracking fight, good scrap. Um, 
If he's up for it, I'll, I'll have that, eh? Um, but I'll, I'll fight anybody. We were looking at going to be fighting Danny Whitaker eh, on the, the Ultimate Boxer 7 card. Yeah. It was postponed forward because of the coronavirus, but obviously everything's just been on the lockdown, so... So possibly even Ultimate Boxer want to put that on. Me and Danny will fight each other. I got on well with Danny. Me and Danny like each other. Um, but good fight. Good fight for people to watch as well. So, um, But there's loads, 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 of, loads of fights can be out there for me. Uh, I, I was in fight about eight times this year. And Yeah. I mean, the, the stabbing was going to impact that, but <laughs> coronavirus impacted it worse. Yeah. Uh, so, but... But I'm getting there, mate. Do you know, it's probably it's a blessing in disguise, all this corona stuff, because I think after this, people are going to start fighting each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because people are going to need to. Because it's, be, um, it's going to be a case that everybody wants to fight because no one's fought. Um, and the promoters are only going to put on the best fights. It's the way it is. Yeah. I, think, I think everybody's going to need to... Start, start getting into some proper scraps. So, look forward to to what's to come. So, yeah, and it's going to be um, all the fighters who have trained through all this and got to be ready straight away. And they're yeah. the ones who are going to be on the cards, aren't they? Yeah. Right now, I'm hundred percent fit to do a six rounder. I'm not hundred percent fit by any means, but I'm fit yeah. to do a six right now. Um, and that's 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 that that's me with an injury. We we we've been injured, so. So, I mean, I don't think there's any excuses for people not to train. I've, I've trained the whole time and, and I'm, I'm notorious for not training. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I'm fucking notoriously just a fat bastard that goes in and has a scrap. <laughs> I've, yeah. I've trained that down below 18 and a half stone now. So, um, start of the year, I was over 20 when I went down to, and we moved in with David. So, if I, if, I, if I can train during a the crisis, then anybody can train. Because I don't train when it's not a crisis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, um, have you stopped all the drinking and partying and everything? We've cut yeah. out the all of them. Yeah, I stopped everything, mate. Um, Behave myself, protein shake. Do you know what I mean? That's the only cocktail I'm having. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not going to lie, I miss it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie about it. Mate. Yeah. And, and just socialising constantly, but uh, but I had to I had to make a choice. Um, this is one of the main things that David showed me as well. I had to choose whether I was going to be that young guy, that young fucking party animal, or, or I was going to going to be a professional athlete. Because you can only really choose one at all. Um, yeah. Been both for a while, which is probably why I've got five losses my record. But that's me. I'm I'm training, training like a proper athlete. <laughs> Good. Amino acids. What is it? I've written, mate. Do, do you take creatine? Creatine? Uh, no, because I'm on the way down. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing the weight down. So creatine is more fucking a holding on to muscle. And yeah, yeah. Even my, I'm on a, an isolation protein, which is better for loss. So there's, there's literally, well, I'll, I'll look at the facts here. I said there's 1.3 gram of carbs in my shake, which is fuck all, which is nothing. Most shakes will get the same amount of carbs. The proteins. Also, it's so thin as well. It's good. Some are high in sugar too, and eh? Yeah, yeah. Some are high in sugar. Probably one of the best stories I've ever heard, Jay. Is um, can you give us a short little story of when you was Frank Bruno's bodyguard? <laughs> oh, that was so funny. So, <laughs> <laughs> so my manager Sam had asked me. So he says to me, Jay, security's not here yet. Can you come? I'll give you a lift over. You have your ticket for tonight and stuff. If you just sit with Frank while security gets there, no problem at all, Sam. Just to let you know, this is the text I sent him. Just to let you know, I'm taking this job 100% serious. And he just sent back, he just sent back the wee monkey faces because he knew I was up to something. Um, <laughs> so I went to the shop and I bought, I bought a wireless earphone that goes round here. So I tucked one of them in my breast pocket. Another one was sitting there, and I told him he's in the safest hands in the game. <laughs> and, and it, mate, 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 it's so serious. Um, and just, the, <laughs> so the whole day I was going to the bar, and I was, I was saying to the guys at the bar, there's a guy, Des, that's the manager in there, and I, I was going up to them, up to the bar, 
and I was going, uh, Des says Mr Bruno's to get a rum and coke, but I'm going to guess it so it doesn't get swamped. So they, begin, they just kept giving me, keep giving me rums and cokes, mate, the whole night. And I started getting... So, there was all, all the boxers for down Airstreet, which was round about... So this is a five-star resort as well. This is Trump's golf course. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm taking people aside and, and questioning them, asking them what they're doing. I was like, right, that's fine. <laughs> it's, 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 so, there was, I don't like to Frank once, right? So, because I don't think he'd get away with it. So I was just, while I was talking, he was saying something, I go, hop, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> right, now, now, there's, <laughs> now there's four people around about me that know me and know that this isn't real. And he's yeah. like, just looking at me like, he is just so rudely interrupted a British boxing legend. Yeah. I that I'm just, I'm, I've got something in my ear, mate, hold on. No, 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 cut him out, cut him out. <laughs> but what were you saying, mate? What were you saying? I just came back and speaking to him again. And in the end of the night, so he's going round and he's just, what a lovely guy Frank Bruno is, mate, but he's thanking yeah, all the security yeah. guards. Um, he's thanking all the security guards and he comes up to me and he's like, uh, well done, you've done a great job today, thanks a lot. Now, I, I had like six people get pictures for free. I had it yeah. me. That was the worst, <laughs> the worst security. <laughs> and he thanked me and I said, mate, I'm just one of Sam's fighters. I've met you twice before and you don't even remember. And he was like, what do you mean? And I was like, I've just been getting free drink in your name all day. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, he just, he done that, <laughs> and that made everything worth it. It was just funny. You, you, did. <laughs> you just laughed it off, did you? He just laughed at it. It was like, it just, he it, it, it didn't know what to say. Yeah. Um, he probably thought, that was, yeah. <laughs> it was funny, man. It was funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. probably one of the best stories I've ever heard. That is absolutely genius. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Obviously, like uh, you're always a bit of a joker on your Instagram stories, and uh, some of the stuff people have come up with and write to you is just bizarre. I uh, know, I know, but I seem to get into bizarre situations and I attract myself to bizarre people. So I don't know if yeah. a lot of the people that, that send stuff to me have been genuine. Um, yeah. Uh, there's a 15 year old boy talking about erectile dysfunction. They ask me like every day. I'm like, surely that can't be a joke because it's overrun being funny. Like, it was funny <laughs> the first time he said that. And he's like, I'm a 15 year old kid with erectile dysfunction. What do I do? But, yeah, like, I see that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Every day I'm going to ask There's another one saying that he fucks his stepsister. Um, yeah. <laughs> mate, oh, there was a 17 year old boy who was asking me for to, if he could buy my used pants. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Horrible. Oh, that's fucking strange, man. I mean, I've made a fortune often, but... No, I'm... <laughs> <Yeah>. um... <laughs> no. Um, it's fucking bizarre, mate. It's bizarre. I see one, like, um, it said, are you grateful for the coronavirus or something? Could this help you stay relevant? Something like that. It doesn't even make sense. Oh, no, what does that mean? What does it mean? I don't know. Well, because, um, It'd be the complete opposite. I don't know what I don't know what he was getting to that. No, like. no I, I don't know if it's because I'm quite active on social media, um, and because everybody's stuck in the house, they're forced to watch me. I don't know. Yeah, if that's yeah. Maybe, maybe it was talking about, but but I'm assuming it wasn't being as nice as that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But. <sighs> Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them. Just Scottish, the Scottish banter you got them now. Yeah. Do you, do you miss to... Glasgow, Jay? I'm in Glasgow. I'm back home. Oh, you're back home now, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm back home. I'm back home now. Um, I'm loving my uncle, so so he's keeping me on the straight and narrow as well. Uh, aye. Yeah. I'm and you've you got a younger back. brother, Kai, too, have you? What is it? You've got a younger brother, Kai, too. Yeah, Kai and Jax, uh, my two younger brothers, but they're loving my mum and my, I'm loving my uncle, so I'm with my wee cousins, two wee girls, so I've, I've went for two wee boys, well, no two wee boys, yeah, yeah. 20, but I've went for two boys, to, to another two boys and David and Liam, uh, to two little girls, so it's, uh, <laughs> that's all <laughs> this year. <laughs> uh, hey, no, um, two little ones, got... two big, two, two boys and men's bodies have you, have you spoke to Dave and um, thing recently 
Yeah, I spoke, spoke to him a couple of times. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing how he gets on with Jamie Moore and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not, not just as a, as a fan, but as a friend, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't take any... Uh, look, at, I've got the utmost respect for Dave, do you know what I mean? A lot of that yeah. changed my life, to be quite honest, mate. Um, help me, help me realise that, that obviously I've got two options and I need to pick one of them. I kind of try and be part of the boy and try and be fight it as well, it doesn't work and um, kept me clean, kept me off of drinking that, so, so it's, it's, aye, it, it, guys changed my life, to be quite honest. Yeah. Um, I got, um, so I got I'm hoping it changes his own now. Sorry, what are you saying? No, just carry on, say it. sorry, bud. No, 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 I'm saying, I'm saying, I, I hope it goes, it, it goes in, in, and changes his own life now and for the, like, trains for the better and, yeah, um, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what he does. Yeah, because he got the talent there. It's he, mm -hmm. you've uh, you've always struggled a bit of commitment mm -hmm. issues as well. I think, haven't he? Yeah, no, a million percent. Uh, do you know? Well, obviously, I, I was uh, David Price's sparring partner for when he fought David. Yeah, uh, <coughs> his whole camp, and and Dave Allen's a much more talented fighter. And he just was not there that night at all. Uh, yeah, I, I, I later found out that it was because. He hadn't trained for five weeks. He overtrained after the Brown fight, and and just a lot was happening. But but it's uh, it's, it's all lifts and butts, you know what I mean? He, need, he needs somebody that's going to keep him keep him on a straight and narrow. Not not on a straight and narrow as much with David, but but keep him in a gym. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it will happen with Jamie Moore and MTK back, and I'm looking forward to seeing what he does as a fan. Do you know what I mean? Not yeah. Just as a, yeah. So, uh, aye, I'll be good. Yeah, it's good. I got um, a quote, dude. I I read it's your favourite quote. Um, Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift. That's why they call it present. Mate, that's a quote. And that, that's a yeah. class quote. Master Rugby for Kung Fu Panda. See? That is a class quote. <laughs> <laughs> I cheated. I, um, I found it on uh, one of your stories on Google. <laughs> I know. Aye. I can't remember her saying. Any... Oh. Is, um, is there anybody who wants to ask Jay any questions? We've just dropped them uh, in. I try and keep them as clean as possible, but I doubt that's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, could you ever see yourself fighting Jack Montgomery? I don't know who Jack Montgomery is, but... Uh, I'll fight him if he wants. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you ever see yourself fighting world champions? A hundred percent. I don't see why not. I'm 22 years of age. Um, I don't shag my own ass, mate, but I'm a talented fighter. I just don't have a discipline. Yeah. If I can get discipline in, in uh, the world's my oysters, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, so. But, um, yeah. I can't see any more the just laughing faces. Jay's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's me top. Yeah, and, um what do you think of John Fury and uh, this Theo guy, Jay? Oh, fuck fuck fighting John Fury. If you are yeah. asking when I would fight anybody, I wouldn't I would fight Tyson Fury before I'd fight John Fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's a nasty um, man, isn't he? Oh, he's just I don't know. I, I met him ages ago. Um, I can't remember. I might, might have been Belfast. I met him, and I was just like, "Do you see the differences between the videos that they sent each other? Like, um, one was really <laughs> nice and calm, and John's is like, I fight you anyway, anytime. Doesn't uh, matter. I'll kill style. You. <laughs> <laughs> don't use my name. I'll kill you." Have you seen yeah. that? I think it was brilliant. Brilliant when he's got the wee burner phone and he's saying, this is my phone. It's been my phone for the past 20 years. <laughs> yeah. I don't use it. Yeah. So don't buy it. Don't buy, I don't use it. <laughs> you got really offended by adding it. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jack Montgomery's yeah, got um, a boxer. Oh, well. You are, Jay? Sorry? No, you said, would you ever fight Jack Montgomery? He's commented saying, I'm not a boxer. All right, uh, that's you. Easy win for you, then. 
Yeah, I won't take up any more of your time now, Jay. Thank you very much for uh, joining us today, but and um, I know we we all we like a laugh and a joke and everything, but I've read up on your stories and everything like that. But and I honestly mm -hmm. wish you all the best. I uh, I want to see you go to the top. Thanks, mate. I really appreciate that. No worries, but uh, yeah, if there's anyone I want to see go to where is you, but after <clears throat> you know we've had a bit of a rough time, like and. Yeah, um, yeah. But after you know, we've had a bit of a rough time, like, and yeah, um, yeah. I'd like to see you do it, but thank you, mate. Means a lot. No worries. So, um, hopefully, after when all this is done, I'll catch up with you. And uh, thank you again for joining us. No, no, thank you again, mate. Thank you, I appreciate it. See you, family, okay? Thanks, mate. Take care. Bye bye. bye. bye.